Hi, this is Brent Gullo, and this is Calvary's Corner. Uh, I have a truth from the Bible today, Psalm chapter 3, verses 4 and 5. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Selah. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. <clears throat> Sleep is a very important part of the Christian life. Um, of course, we want to serve God to the best of our ability. Oftentimes, uh, the emphasis of go, 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 and, and run to the next um, aspect of service uh, is emphasized. And of course, with Jesus' soon return and with uh, the crazy world we live in, uh, soul winning and prayer and, and, and outreach, all these things are absolutely necessary. But the Bible says a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. And so we want to take into account uh, everything that God emphasizes, the whole counsel of God. And sleep is mentioned in the Bible. Sleep is a very important part of the Christian life. God's not advocating laziness. Uh, biblical rest doesn't have anything to do with sleeping all day. Uh, but sleep is an important part of the Christian life. And having had many different schedules uh, and understanding lack of sleep, Having been married for uh, 11 years with four children, uh, I certainly value good quality sleep. Uh, and I just want to share uh, one element, I believe, that is crucial to quality sleep. Uh, let me read the verse again, Psalm 3, 4, and 5. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Selah. I laid me down and slept. I waked, for the Lord sustained me. So we have verse 4, speaking of prayer, I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me. Cry as in a heart cry, uh, a loud cry, uh, pouring your heart out, uh, a lot of heart involved. Um, and then the second part of that verse, he heard me. I want to make sure that I am praying according to biblical principles. Uh, for instance, um, Psalm 66, 18 says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. A verse in Proverbs, He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. I have no respect. If, if I have no respect for the word of God and don't listen to God, he says my prayer to him is an abomination. Strong verse. So I want to pray intelligently according to biblical principles. But this verse says, I cried, he heard me. So I want to make sure my heart is clear, confessed. I want to confess my sin before God. And I want to listen to the Word of God and read it uh, with an ear and a heart to hear what God's opinion is and how it can apply everything God says in my daily life. And the next verse says, I laid me down and slept. So what I want to express today a great principle from the Word of God. If I'm to have good quality sleep, I ought to spend a few minutes praying before I go to bed. I ought to spend some time with confession. I ought to spend some time letting God search my heart. Perhaps there's things throughout the day I didn't realize I did. And uh, once you bow your head and an honest heart, God really begins to bring to light some things that you need to clear up. And when you do that, uh, you're going to sleep a whole lot better. And sleep is a very important part of the Christian life. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your time. God bless you. Have a great day.